70 years ago, I was living here, I was one year old, and my dad was the head foreman here with a huge logging company. I'm really happy to be back here again. It's a whole new era, a whole new life. Um, I'm really happy that uh, the Clahoos have taken advantage of tapping into the resources, the many resources a lot of our land and a lot of our people have, and they're sharing that with the province and building new energies for their people, bring, building new employment for their people and it's a whole new way of life for them. We're going to take a tour through the, um, the Run of River project with, uh, with Altera and, and Clahoos and Seashelt and, and uh, the, uh, the regional chief and uh, show them our territory and show them how successful this, this project has been. At the very you know, minimal level, you know, employment of course for our members, um, there's training opportunities, but then you go even further and there's infrastructure that we put in. There's, we've, we've created more uh, opportunities for our businesses. So now we do camp services. Um, we also do like the fuel farm. We do um, the barging. So logistics, not only that, but the management side of things. So every aspect of this project, and most First Nations, they're either uh, a partner with somebody, but they have a limited control over what goes on. Clahoos, this is, this is our project. And we, we, we try to get a as much opportunity out of it as possible. So it's, it's so vast, the, the opportunity and the benefits that come to the nation, not just, there's, and, and of course, there's an economic benefit from our agreement, but this, it's just, a, you can see it. It's a happy people, people employed, and um, you know, and the project is a success. So Shannon, uh, I'm happy to be here today. Um, I want to know, there's a lot of opportunity here, but. How did you go about in bringing this to the people and helping them to prepare for a major project like this? Well, the first thing is to build capacity within your community, ensure that people, our people are aware of the opportunities such as funding and grants that are available in addition to scholarships. There's many apprenticeship opportunities for a project such as this. A lot of red seal opportunities, a lot of non-red seal opportunities and advancement also for employers. There's tax credits, there's all sorts of completion grants for the apprentice as well. In terms of longevity, this could turn into like 10 years or more or even a career for a lot of the people, right? Being an apprentice is a, is a skill that you can carry with you for generations and you can pass it on to other generations as well. And that's the beauty of it. Yeah, and that's truly amazing. So if people wanted to plan their whole career, this is a good beginning. It definitely is. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think uh, the leadership role that uh, Clues have taken in terms of controlling all the contractors that are coming, all the resources that are coming into their territory, they're turning that into long-term development for their band members in terms of uh, companies, corporations that they will operate here in the territory for a long, long, long term. What they're creating here is what we're going to duplicate at, at the, the Three River Run in Arizona to Seashell. And we're going to be building a great future for our people. It's similar to here. Yeah, my mother lived up here when she first got married. She would be just so amazed. When she passed away, she was 82. Whoa. And uh, she told me all about living up here. Hmm. So, uh, and she made me promise. When the project gets started, she said, you make sure you get as many of the family up there to work. Great. And I did. That's super, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, good for you. So, it's yeah. been really an awesome experience. It's a reality of, of good leadership. It's a reality of a partnership. But at the end of the day, our people are having jobs and, they're, and we're stimulating the economy. When people say... Our First Nations participated in an economy. Our First Nations are part of the economy. This is a reality that, you know what, when partnerships are created, everybody benefits. And this is how you get things done. Everybody's always concerned about what uh, will happen to the ecosystem, the, the fish, the wildlife. Can you tell us a little bit about what the actual impacts are? Sure, they're, they're actually pretty minimal. Like, we locate uh, our projects so that they're not on fish bearing streams, so there's no impact to fish. We 
work in a sort of the minimum impact environment that we can, so our footprint is as small as we can get it. We have people that monitor to make sure we don't have sediment or anything getting into the water courses. And then, you know, the projects themselves are, are not impactful. They don't take anything away from the environment. They're renewable. There's no uh, exhaust pipe that comes out of them. Uh, all the water that comes in goes right back at the bottom of the falls, so they're, they're, they're low-impact projects. So when you look at the grizzly bears we've seen today, it yeah. has a little bit of impact on the grizzly bears uh, cycle, but other than that... Uh, yeah, the, the you know, we, there's, uh, there's areas in the valley where there are grizzly bears and we actually avoid those. So there's that area down below there, it's a great spot to build a run out of the river plant, but because of the grizzly bear habitat there, that's an area we would, would avoid in not building a plant there. Yeah, we see you guys take great pride and look at uh, remediation over the sites that you've been. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, when you look at uh, the uh, remediation over the uh, actual pipe once the pipe, Sure, so so once the penstock's all buried, we actually take uh, stumps and other material, we put it over top of the, over the gravel, and then we plant grass on it. So a lot of the areas now have already been remediated. We try to make it look as, as, if, as if it was originally when it was uh, uh, before we even came here. So uh, you'll see a lot of the areas, when, we, when the area's all cleaned up when the project's done, the impact is actually much smaller than what we see today. Incredible landscape, incredible yeah, landscape, an incredible project. You guys should be proud of yourself. When you look at what this project can do and a number of other projects throughout the province, it totally begs the question, is, is uh, the reality of Site C realistic for uh, the P Peace River? When I look at a project like this and the alternative energies of green energy, this is the way of the future. I think if we look after the land, the land will provide for us and look to many generations of of work that's been done in this territory. I think the resources will provide uh, for, their, for their future generations for many, many years to come.